Hello and welcome to our channel, Tech Expert Tutorials. In this video, we are going to teach you how to install the free version of Oracle Database for Windows and show you some simple examples on how to use your database. We will be using Oracle version 23A, which is the newest version currently available at the time of this video, and installing this on Windows 11 OS. Oracle is the most popular on-premise database in use today. It's efficient with low latency and fast query speed. The free version is limited. For example, it only uses two gigabytes of RAM and 12 gigabytes of disk space. This version does include some AI features, such as AI vector search and LLM, or large language model support. There is a version for Linux and one for Windows, and you can even run from a Docker container image. To install on Windows, select the button in the middle. Here are some of the IDEs that are available with Oracle. You can develop in a Java, C, or C++ app, Visual Studio, or you can even use one of several Oracle tools. There are also several languages that you can develop in, such as Python, Node.js, PHP, and Go. We won't be using an IDE in our demo. Instead, we will be using SQL Plus and Python to get started. To install, search for Oracle free version download and click on this link. You will find several useful articles on this page. Here are some details on the functionality included in this version. Scroll down until you find the Windows zip file download button and select it. The file is large, so it may take a while to download. You may need to set up a new Oracle account in case you don't have one. Setting up an account is free and quick. Once the file is downloaded, you will need to extract the files into a new directory. There are some older versions also available for download. We'll stick with the newest version. Start a new command window. Be sure to select Open as administrator. Before installing from the setup file, you will need to create a new directory under the root drive. We created one named dbfree for this demo. We run a few commands to limit access for authorized users. This is a requirement for this new version. There are two ICACLS commands to run which will limit access. ICACLS is an application that modifies access control lists on directories or files. First, you disable inheritance. Then you remove authenticated user permission from this directory. If the commands ran successfully, you should see this output when checking your new folder. Now we go to the directory that you extracted the zip files into and run this command with some key switches. We included a location to store logging information for troubleshooting later. When the wizard opens, select Next, then Accept, and then select the new folder you created with the modified permissions as the destination. Click OK. Then click Next. Enter a password for admin accounts. Then click Install. This will take several minutes to complete. First, it installs files and then updates the registration. And then it will configure the software. When the installation is completed, click on the Finish button. Notice the host is localhost and the port is 1521. To verify the installation was successful, try to open the Oracle Instance Manager application. You should see a window like this. This means the Oracle database server software was installed. Now, we'll give you a brief demo. To open the database, you can access it from SQL Plus using this command. Type in your password from the installation screen. We will select the name of the database first. The name is showing as free, which is the default database. We can also select the list of users that are included. The list is long, so we will pause and come back. There are 34 rows available. Now, we will create a new user account that we will use later on. You can drop the user if you no longer need it. Next, we will create a new table named Persons with three columns and a primary key as shown. Once the table is created, we will check if everything worked by looking in the DBA Objects table. This table stores a record for each object that exists in the database. No data in the table yet, which is good. Let's insert a record now. We run a common insert statement here. We can see that record was added successfully. We can drop the table once we are finished with it. We exit SQL Plus by typing in quit. Now we recreate the user and grant permission to that user. We'll grant DBA access and select insert update and delete privileges on the new table to our user. By the way, it's better to create a new account and use it rather than using the sysdba account to create tables, views, etc. Okay, so far so good. Now we will demonstrate accessing Oracle from Python using a Jupyter Notebook. To use Python, you will need to set up a new Python environment and add that environment as a kernel option in the notebook. 
First, we select the kernel so we have the necessary packages or libraries available. We are using the Oracle DB package, which will simplify connections and fetching data from the server. We set up a connection, passing in credentials and a connection string. Then we execute a simple SQL statement to get all records from our persons table and print out the results. Looks like everything worked fine. Installing and setting up the new free versions of Oracle's database on your machine is relatively simple. This will be useful for small applications or for developing a production app later. Stay tuned for more in-depth videos on how to use Oracle and other popular databases. Thanks for watching our video. Comments and suggestions are appreciated. See you next time.